What's going on guys? This is Verox and welcome to my YouTube banner tutorial. Now, whether you are a beginner designer trying to learn some new tips and tricks in Photoshop, or if you're just broke as fuck and you need to make yourself a new banner, you're in the right place, man. So as you can see on the screen, this is an example of what we will be making today. So yeah, let's get into it. If you need this banner template, I will leave a link to it in the description. I will also leave a high quality image link of the banner that will that we will be designing today. I know YouTube doesn't do its justice sometimes with quality. So with a YouTube banner, you're going to have black space on the top and bottom. Now you can opt to use that black space, but personally, I never use it because it's only going to be seen on television screens. Um, this main desktop area that we are going to be using is seen on desktop and mobile. You can use this black area if you'd like, but this is what I do. As you can see right now, it is a light gray color and we're going to actually change this. So double click on the layer put a color overlay of just straight up black, click OK, right click, rasterize the layer, go up to filter, noise, add noise, and we're going to do 3% and just click OK, uniform and monochromatic are checked off. Go down here to your color palette. If you don't already have black and white selected, click this little double square up here, create a new layer, go to filter, render, clouds. Now these clouds are a little bit in, intense as you can see. So we're going to change the opacity down to 5%. Right click on the layer and create a clipping mask. For this tutorial, you can use any color you want. That's the beautiful thing about Photoshop. Colors are pretty much subjective, right? You can you can mix and match colors, do whatever you want. It's your banner. Now go ahead and select your brush tool. This is a little bit too big for me. I'm going to put the size down to 2000. And we're going to zoom out a little bit just so we can, you know, get some perspective. Make sure you create a new layer. And you can just go by eye and just line this up in the middle of the artboard, just like that, and click once. So we're going to change the opacity down to 75% and make sure to right click the layer and create clipping mask. Select your desktop area layer, double click on it. We're going to create just a subtle inner glow. Opacity 25%, keep the color to white and the size at two. Click OK. It almost it almost looks like a stroke, but it's very subtle on the top and the bottom of our banner. So yeah, now what we're gonna do, we are gonna create this circular shape along the bottom. Now you can use this for your social media links. It's up to you. I put it there because it makes it makes the banner, the banner style look a lot more dynamic. Now if you don't have your eclipse tool selected, you can just click and hold on this down here and select your eclipse tool like that. We're going to zoom out a lot. All right. And we're going to sh hold down shift, click and drag. And we're going to have this huge circle and the circle needs to be big because you don't want the curves to be too sharp. So line that up in the middle. If you have smart guides, it'll make it easy for you. And we're going to put it right about there. Um, now, next thing you wanna do, create a new layer on top of the Eclipse layer. Hold down Control and click on the Eclipse layer, which will select it. Then go up to Select Inverse. And we're gonna use a nice darkish gray color. Go to your Paint Bucket tool, make sure you have the, that new layer selected, and click once in the selected area. Now go up here, select, deselect, you can delete that eclipse layer. I want to change the opacity down to 80%. We're going to give it a Gaussian blur. So go up here, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just do it to put it to one pixel. Click OK. Double click on the layer. We're going to do a drop shadow, but we're going to reverse it. Put it to negative 90 degrees. Um, now that drop shadow is a little bit intense. So move the distance to 5 the size let's do the size to how about 20 20 looks good and the opacity can go down to 50 percent let's keep the opacity at 100 percent and bring the fill down we're just gonna do fill zero okay actually no fill 25 that looks a lot better now again double click on the layer we're gonna add an inner shadow uh change the blend mode to normal and we're gonna make the color red 
kind of that same red that we've been using. Move the opacity up to around 50%. The, dis the choke can stay at zero. The size, let's move the size down to zero and the distance put the distance at around two. That looks pretty good. Actually, let's bring the opacity up a little bit more. Doesn't have to be, you know, doesn't have to be 100% perfect because, you know, I'm trying to make this tutorial as fast as I can. Go over here, select your line tool, and we're gonna use that same red that we have on the stroke layer. Um, this, this seems about right. And now just create create the line, make it horizontal. And the weight, let's move the weight up to around three. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now right click it, rasterize the layer. And what we're gonna do, go over here to your eraser tool. Just be very gentle with it and you know on, on either side, top and bottom, and just kind of like erase it so it kind of fades off. So now what I'm going to do with this red line, I'm going to add another blur to it, Gaussian blur. That looks pretty good to me. So now that we have that the way we want it, we're going to rotate it to an angle about 45 degrees. And now what we can do is start creating our pattern in the background. So now that we have all of these shapes, all of these lines, what you want to do, select the bottom one, hold down shift, select the top, which will select everything. Well, not everything, it will select every one of those layers. Right click, merge layers. And then right click it again, create clipping mask, control, click on that bottom bar, and make sure you have the line layer selected and press delete on your keyboard. Select, deselect, boom, there we have it. There's our scene, we have our scene set up. The text we're using for this tutorial is United Sands, and I'm just gonna type your name. Now that is red, we can make it red if we wanted, but I'm gonna make it white. The size, let's move the size down to around 125. That looks pretty good. And now we need to center this in the on the page. Smart guides come in handy every time. Now because, because we have this bottom bar, I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. This white is very bright. So what we're gonna do, double click on the layer. We're gonna add a gradient overlay. Hold up, before we add the gradient overlay, I'm just gonna make sure we have black selected down on our color palette and re-add this gradient overlay. Just black to transparent, click okay. And we're gonna reverse the gradient like that lower the opacity down to around 25%, click OK. Actually, don't click OK because we need to add a drop shadow. We're just gonna add a subtle drop shadow, not too intense, never get too intense with your drop shadows, trust me. Let's put the size down to 15, the opacity up to 50, distance at five. Oh, and the angle has to be at 90 degrees. Actually, let's move the opacity down to around 40. So I'm just gonna add one social link as an example for this tutorial. Um, you don't have to get too crazy with it. But uh, yeah, go down here where your rectangle tool is, select that, make sure you have the black color selected and just click and drag a box to whatever size you'd like. Doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure that rectangle layer is above all your other layers and make sure you have it centered in the middle. Change the opacity down to 50% on that box and we're just gonna put your, your name in white. We're gonna make this white so it's more visible. That's, that's, a, that's a little bit too small. Um, I'm just gonna make this a little bigger. And for our Twitter logo, 
I almost forgot. Jesus, I'm just going to drag it from our example over here. Make that even a little smaller. We're going to add like a little tiny skinny rectangle on the end of this black rectangle just to make it a little bit nicer. Make sure you create a clipping mask for this, just like that. For the link text, just go ahead and copy the layer style of the main text and put, put it on the social link text. And I almost forgot, one last thing. We're gonna add a texture in the background. So go ahead to my texture pack. I'll leave a link to the video in the description for that texture pack. Select the water drops texture we're just gonna drag it over to our YouTube banner template. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger. Make it a little bit bigger to, f to fill our artboard. Go up to here to your blend modes and put a screen on that layer. Put the opacity down to 25%. I want this water drops layer underneath all of my other layers except for the desktop area. So drag it under your clouds layer we're gonna add a blur a motion blur on this so go up to filter blur motion blur that put the angle to 45 percent the distance to 25 pixels and it almost looks like raindrops looks pretty cool pretty cool effect right and again because it's going over our bottom bar control click on the click on the bottom bar layer make sure you have your water drops layer selected and press delete on your keyboard. Go up here, select, deselect, boom. There you have it. There's your YouTube banner. I hope this was an easy tutorial to follow along with. Make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.